What's up YouTube? Finally today Sony released their PlayStation Now for PlayStation 4. So I just thought I'll do a quick review of, of the same for you. Now, I don't have any kind of uh, game capture device so I had to actually record the whole thing on my camera instead of uh, actually using a game or actually using a recording device like I told you I don't have one. And second thing is PlayStation Now does not work with share as in I cannot share this video or broadcast it because if I try to share it this is what I get I just get an upload video clip which is my previous video clip I can take a screenshot and I can start a share play that's something that I haven't tried yet but yeah so I don't see a video saving option and moreover if I do a double click on the share button this is what I get cannot perform the operation gameplay is currently not being recorded so what it basically means is I won't be able to do gameplay videos over the PlayStation now and I have to depend on my trusty camera in order to actually show you so the video quality is not going to be that great but basically I wanted to show you how the game works I'll, I'll just adjust the camera so it has the whole screen on it uh, yep. Hope this is good enough. I'm currently recording on a dark, dark room. So, they are giving a trial subscription. This like I can try a seven day free trial thing. So that's what I'm on right now because I wanted to get into it before actually spending too much money on it. So basically when you start your free trial, you get an option to either, you get an option to either select a three month or a one month uh, subscription service so once your seven days are over you actually are switched over to that plan so I tried a couple of games already I, I tried Final Fantasy and Bioshock Infinite not bad uh, I can see there is no lag although on a PlayStation 4 you can see since it's a 720p video you can feel a difference between a PlayStation 4 game and this possibly because of the graphics so I'll try to play Bioshock Infinite which is supposed to be one of the better games on PlayStation 3 and it's also graphically kind of demanding so it'll just help me to gauge that what kind of lag if any is there in PlayStation now so I'm gonna start Bioshock Infinite so while I'm at it, I'll also show you what other options we have. See, uh, so what you can see that for a DualShock 4 controller, the left portion of the touchpad is select and the right portion is for a start button. Every time you start a game, it tests the connection and checks whether your connection is good enough to actually start a game. And 5 uh, Mbps is the connection which is recommended. I have about 100 Mbps connection, so I don't think it should be a problem. So it's going to start the game. Let's see how it plays out. In the meantime, one of the better things that I liked about PlayStation Now is if you if you go to the cross menu bar, you have these options like a PlayStation 3 has. So you can actually sync your trophy and if you go to game and save data utility I'll just start this first and I'll show you what the save data utility is all about. So one of the things I liked was I have a PlayStation Plus subscription so all my online saved games are here. So what that would mean is all the games that I play on my PlayStation 3 with all those saved games are here. So I can always sync my account, my PlayStation Now account and use these saved games to continue my game which I am currently playing on a PlayStation 3. Which is a nifty and a cool feature which I really like. So I can always switch from my PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4 and have my saved games there. So I'll get back to the game to show you if there is any lag during actual gameplay. I didn't find any while I was playing Final Fantasy 13. I don't expect any lag while playing Bioshock Infinite either. Okay. 
So as you can see, this is being streamed directly from PlayStation servers over to my TV, my PlayStation 4 rather. And I don't see any lag. It's pretty cool, everything is streaming super cool, super fast. I picked Bioshock Infinite because it's a shooter game, so I guess if there is any lag it should be quite visible while playing this. So I'm gonna start the game. It pretty much looks exactly like it does on PlayStation 3, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna start a new game because I've never played this on PlayStation 3. I had it on PC. I usually have my games in, uh, play my games in hard because it gives me a better trophy at the end of the game, so it's worth it. So everything is being saved on the cloud, I believe, and not my system. Although I cannot confirm that as of now, I just had it. I, I just started playing this. But that's what I believe should be the case because everything is streaming from online. I'm afraid of you. Okay, one thing I noticed was the text is not that clear. Although the video itself is pretty clear, the text is slightly distorted at the edges. Which I'm sure I can, I'm okay with because at the end of the day, it's a gameplay that matters and. The game's video graphics. There is no lag. I can look around without any delay. The text within the game is good, unlike the credits, which were slightly distorted. I finished Bioshock Infinite on my PC, and I think it's a really great game. The way it ended was pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting that. So I won't tell what exactly happened in order to avoid any kind of spoilers. But yeah, it's a really good game. If you haven't played it, then you should get it. Get PlayStation now. I, I guess it's, it's awesome if you have a PlayStation 4. The graphics are good. I don't see any lag when I move around. All the controls are pretty okay. I mean, controls are as they are in a PlayStation 3, except the start and the select button being moved to the touchpad. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me? You can see the graphics are pretty good. These are all 720p being streamed over to my PlayStation 4. Pretty much looks exactly like PlayStation 3 game. Good luck with that, pal. Is anyone here? Hello?
I must say, I haven't experienced any lack till now, which is pretty awesome. I guess I'll switch over to a portion of the game that actually has shooting and all, so I can check lag on that. So I'll just I'll just stop here and I'll continue from the point that I actually start shooting and then wrap it up there. So guys, uh, I'm at the actual fighting part of the game. With all the story is done with. I just went through a whole bunch of enemies and even if I died it was not because of the lag but yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not adapted to the controls yet. This has been a real long time since I've played Bioshock Infinite. Let's so just go. So it's good. There is no lag. The game is playable. I can play it without any issues. It's awesome, the gameplay is real good, there is no lag that I can see, but it may vary as per the, the speeds of uh, whoever is playing it. Although it does test the connection initially while you, well, while you start to play to see if the game would be playable or, no, or not. So I got a 100 Mbps connection so I was expecting no problems at all. but. The recommended is just 5 Mbps, so even that shouldn't be a problem. <sighs> yep, that's about it. My first ex uh, first experience with PlayStation now it's not bad I might actually continue the tr continue the subscription even after the just a minute I might continue the subscription even after the trial expires because you get around 103 games if I'm not mistaken and many of them are AAA games which I have not already played like they have Final Fantasy and Last of Us. Yep, so that's it for my gameplay for now. Now let me concentrate on the game. Geek Stratomus, signing off. Thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Do drop a comment as to how I can improve my videos. 
like subscribe and comment on this video and check out my other videos i've got tutorials gameplays giveaways and a lot more stuff coming in soon thanks a lot and have a good day keystratimus signing off